Okay, so we're back with the second part of how to make your own game with C Sharp. Um, again, the game we're making is called Memory Matching Game. Uh, in our last tutorial, we learned how to make our 12 cards in Photoshop. If you haven't seen that, please go ahead and watch it. Unless you already have your cards and you're familiar with all that stuff. Um, in this tutorial, we actually have to start coding. Yep, coding our game. Um, however, before we start, I have two things I'd like to point out, a couple of things I'd like to point out. Uh, first of all, I actually created, uh, actually I forgot to, to create a back cover for our cards. So I went ahead and disabled my last picture, the gray, and I just added a text saying, what foot am I? I added a text and that's all. And then I save it just the same way we saved all our cards before. And the PNG as well. And there you go. Second thing is that when I will be coding, I will be assuming that you are familiar with programming languages, with some loops and all that. Um, I'm going to explain everything. However, I won't be able to explain it in details. Okay? Um, that's going to take too much time and this video is not teaching you how to program but teaching you mechanics how to make a game okay so yeah again I'm assuming you have some experience um, all right I think that's enough of talking let's get to work uh, again we're going to be using Visual Studio 2012 you could use any version you would like so wait till it loads up all right go to a new project and one more time, I'm not secreting this. Okay, I'm not secreting this. I'm just really just doing it with you guys. So forgive me for any mistakes. Um, all right. So first of all, go to other languages, select Visual C Sharp, and go to Windows Forms application. Let's call it Memory Matching Game. Hit on OK or hit Enter. Um, don't worry about this if we. Pops up, just close it. I don't think it will pop up with you, but it does on mine because I have a in. Anyways, um, let's, let's edit our window now. I would like it to be that size. Um, name game window. Oops. This is our game window. Let's see what we need to disable. Oh, we need to... Alright. I mean, you could really play around with this kind of stuff. Up to you. Do with the whatever you like. Um, icon. I don't know what icon. Maximize box. False. And actually set. What else? Let's see. You know what? Set the phone border style to a fixed single, so nobody could resize it. And then that'll be all. Show icon false. I don't want any icons. You show show taskbar. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Um, game or I know what just memory matching and window state normal and okay what is I'm looking all right start position set it to center screen all right that's enough I guess all right um go to file let's save our project so we don't lose it because save all go to we are in where Photoshop memory machine game. I can you folder called game folder. Select and save it there. Um, just one more thing to point out that I'm going to be really hitting on Ctrl S, and you guys won't notice it. That's just for me to save my project every time so I don't lose it. Um, you know you could do that. It's really helpful. So go ahead and do it. All right, let's bring in. Let's start actually with work. Uh, bring a panel, or you could bring in group box, whatever you like. This is going to be the cards holder. This is going to hold all cards. And within the panel, bring picture box. All right, let's name things right now. Our panel, call it cards and holder. Or picture box, uh, you know what? Hold on, leave your picture box for now. Let's give it a size of our pictures um, or cards, which was where is it? 
all right hang on um size 200 by oh, that looks pretty big huge isn't it um you know what all right i have a good idea import our pictures onto photoshop load them up and resize all of them to a half let's see how would that look like if i split this in a half let's see let's make it 100 by 150 that's a lot better leave it, i'm gonna leave it like that okay so yeah that, that, that size better oops my bad okay so let's resize every single picture to go to image image size and make it one 100 by 150 just hit on casual s or go to file save that's it and close and keep doing this to all of them i'll pause and i'll continue when i'm done okay all right that didn't take so that long so now what we're gonna do is we have our picture box um just duplicate it by pressing ctrl c ctrl v and place it right next to it ctrl c ctrl v place it right next to it now select all ctrl c ctrl v i'm gonna do this to all my cards and i'll be back again okay all right so what i did right here again um i hate oops excuse me a second okay just a second let me just fix this i do like this i look like that okay so first of all, the reason I placed the panel is just makes my life easier. I could grab all of them at once. That's why. Um, I know I don't need it, but I do like it. So, yeah. Um, again, I have 24 cards, six in each row. Okay, and four columns. Okay, so that gives you 24 cards right there. I call them card one, and the one right next to it, I call the duplicate card one. Dub card one. And DUP stands for the location, my dictionary. Then card two, then location card two, and so on. Okay. Uh, now we need to add score. So let's get label and let's call it score. UP score. What is it? All right. Text score. Now it's going to be our score. Let's set our font to, let's see. Um, I like Riva. That one live. This one. Right, if you don't know how you pronounce it, anyways. And let's set this to 12. That looks pretty cool. Uh, 14. Yep, looks nice. Um, copy that and paste it. Put it right next to it and set this to zero. That's gonna be the counter. Um, so this is going to be score label, and this is gonna be score counter. We are also going to need a timer, so add a timer, toolbox, timer, and just leave the name as timer, interval, set it as 3000, okay, okay. alright now let's get to coding, I'll fire up uh, the form load event just by double clicking on the form load on the other form. I'm gonna fire it up. Oops, hold on a second. I don't really need that. Don't worry about this step. Just ignore this step. Like if I didn't do nothing. Okay. All right. So I fired up my loading. Uh, my form load event. Now let's record it. First of all, let's assign some variables. Um, general talking. It's not really good that you assign variables right on the top when the program loads. That's gonna take up some memory. I mean, sometimes you do need it, but you don't usually do it. However, this game is really small. It's not a big game, so it's fine. Also, when you program games, um, you would need to create classes, not program everything in one class like I'm doing right now. You would usually do different classes for each one. For example, if you're doing FPS game, first person shooter, you will create a class for firing, class for walking, class blah blah blah, okay? But we're gonna stick simple in this game. Um, so for variables, we would like, I mean, we'd need actually 
our score so that's gonna be an integer increasing by 10 I guess integer um, score equals 0 let's set 0 as default uh, we also going to need um, let me think actually you know what we're going to need uh, all right. hold on let me check it out okay Wait, let's set ball again to false all right this one is going when we ask the user whether they want to when the game is over whether they want to play it again or not this is gonna hold the value true false yes or no so yeah let's make a list of integer x I'll explain this in a second just give me a second just bear up integer as well okay you know what let's copy this all right, and paste it. Change x to y. The reason, oh, and give me also one more second. Let's make random location. Set it to random. Okay. All right. So the reason I created, I'll go over each one of them. What's wrong with this? Oh, come on. There you go. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. So it has a new random. Yeah, yeah I'll do it, guys. All right. So this one is gonna be our scores, our scores, and this one selects a random value from X and Y lists and assign a new location to each uh, card. So they swap. I just each card, okay? Um, X values of each picture box. Y values values of each picture box. This is going to be play play again or no? Okay, so we gotta store our values of current x and y of this one of picture box of each picture box in a list and then using random location we're gonna swap them we're gonna swap them so every time the game loads they're gonna change the places okay so when, when, when we press on start when we debug it we want to see our cover pictures right so on the for i mean our game window load event we need to loop through every, I mean, you could do this in different ways. You could really hard code it. Just write card one dot image equals blah 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 blah. Card two and so on and so forth. Okay, or you could do it that way. You could press on each one of them and go to image and select your image. Uh, that's gonna be pain, really pain. All right. So the way I would do it is I would loop through every single uh every single picture box and just change its image uh, but before we do that actually we need to import our images you could do that in different ways but i'll do it in a simple way cheat kind of cheating press on one picture and go to image and from this dot stuff click on it on our project resources file select on import go to our folder photoshop cards just ctrl eight select everything and open them. There you go. All everything just imported. I can go to none. Okay. Right now we have everything imported. See on, on the resources we have all our cards re imported. So let's let's look. We're going to go say for each. I think this is pretty simple and self-explanatory. We're saying for each picture box. Oops, come on. What's going on? For each picture box and picture and um, games game card oh no cards holder dot controls dot control let me do let me see how we're doing with the time hold on a second um all right, all right. so what we just said right now is for each picture in picture box type of picture box for each type of picture box your name picture in our cards holder in this panel 
Um, so it's going to select every every single picture box. It's going to go through each one of them. Change the picture property picture dot image the picture box image to properties dot resources dot cover. All right. Well, this will do. It will loop through every. Excuse me. It will loop through every single picture box and then change its image property into uh, the resources we have here and the resources cover which is our cover picture all right let's run that and see how does that work look like click on start oh perfect you see now every single card is flipped um i think that's it for this video I know we didn't do much much of coding. Um, with the next video, we're going to show those cards for three seconds when the form loads, and then they hide. Okay, so stay tuned. Wait for the next video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share. Thank you so much, and take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.